Hey, what's up, my people? How you doing? I want to come straight to you, and I want to rap to you. In this video, we're gonna rap to. I'm gonna rap to you about some stuff that just happened in my life that's really unique. And this basically, this video is about uh, jealousy and control. And I think we all been through it before. I'm going to give you an example. Recently, I had an associate up here named Jim. Jim owns his own business, right? Jim has over, this is no joke, Jim has over like $200,000 in his savings. Has nothing to do with his checking, okay? He's got loads of money. I had to get an iPhone 7 um, for my job. And... <laughs> Reluctantly, well, iPhone 6, 6S or 7, uh, and it had me for my job, a new job I started. And I, I created a video about that, and I have an unboxing. And I did tell Jim about that, and Jim, so funny, Jim actually got jealous. Now, I want you to understand. I am nowhere near a rich person, okay? I don't make a six-digit file or nothing like that. You know, I have to budget my money just like everyone else, you know, a little paycheck to paycheck, you know. I try to have some savings put in, you know, if I can, but, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like everybody else. And it just, I was just shocked. I was shocked that a jealous nature, jealousy to me, Jealousy, control, anger, love, passion, they're all energy. You know, they're all energy, so it can affect anybody. But I was just really shocked, you know. And I was shocked he made some really slight remorse trying to put me down. Trying to act like he was just being funny, joking, but it didn't come across that way. Okay. And, I, I you know, I'm not stupid. I, I know I thought... I, you know, I know when someone is joking and when someone is trying to make fun of you, okay? Um, because of jealousy, okay? As in, and an example, as I was thinking about the other day is, let's say someone does something for you, okay? So let's say I pay for your plane ticket to come down to Louisiana. I'm in Pittsburgh. I'm just giving you an example, hypothetical. So, you come on down, I do you a favor, come on down. A controlling situation, a controlling person, what they would normally do in a situation like that is they expect their gifts are given with strings attached and it works best in this manipulative manipulative state that if you if they think that you don't understand and they're hoping that you don't see that their strings attach the strings attaches that you are to be subservient to them and majority of the time is going to be spent with them. Okay? Even if you wanted to go somewhere and be dropped off, they're going to be going with you. Okay? They're going to be sucking up your energy like a uh, psychic vampire. And the reason I say that is they can have the best intentions, but they're going to suck up your energy like a psychic vampire. And if you don't know what that means, that means that have you ever been around someone they may have the best intentions in the world, but after you've been around them for a while, you're just drained. You're drained of energy. You're drained of dealing with them. Uh, you're just drained. Even even if you ha have a fun time with them, for some reason, you're just drained of energy. Those are people, some, some people don't even know they're psychic vampires. That's a psychic vampire. They just drain your energy. They, you know, they don't drink your blood, they drink your energy, in other words. Okay. And... <laughs> Nothing's more happy to a psychic vampire than to be able to have a control over you uh, for a particular time. So, 
let's say I, you know you go go to Louisiana and everything. That that particular person would want a certain amount of control over you. They would want to have. They expect to have a certain amount of time with you. Okay, you like you really have no no say in it, and they will because if you don't drive, they're gonna control the car. Okay, if you want to leave a situation, they have to be okay with it. Okay, and if there's more than one party involved, uh, you ain't going anywhere unless you expect to pay some money and call Uber or something like that to take you somewhere. And a lot of controlling people, they like to isolate you. They like to add, like, isolate you from your friends, your family, other people in a very passive aggressive way. And what I mean a very passive aggressive way is that they do it in a, in a sneaky manner, okay? That's not obvious, okay? They, they're not up front, forward, blah, 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 okay? Uh, they're not like that. They're gonna do it in a, uh, they're gonna use guilt, okay? Try to make you feel bad, guilty. Uh, you know, you know, I did help you. You know, I expect, I mean, you know, to really call asking that much, you know. These are things you have to watch out for, okay? And I've been seeing certain things like that happen in the future. And happen with friends of mine, associates. Okay, so I just like to bring that to your attention because when you're aware and something's brought to your attention, you're most less you're like you're less likely to fall into that trap. Okay, especially the guilt trip trap. That's the worst one. Okay, but yeah, I just want to throw that about the jealousy. Uh, it, it shocked me. I was like, dude, I eat. You know, I had to get this film work. You know, you know, it was it, it was weird. It's like, and I the way I see it, sometimes jealousy comes across because sometimes it's just the fact that it's not that you got an item; it's the idea that you got an item, not through them. Because if they, if you got it through their help, then they have a certain amount of control over you. Okay, and they can use you as an asset. Okay, that's part of the deal with jealousy. Okay, the other part is just basically it's it's the green headed monster. It's the jealousy. It's been here since beginning beginning of time. It'll be here way after I'm dead and gone. So uh, that that's what that is. That's jealousy. But I was just shocked when I saw it. I was like, oh my god. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so it's the iPhone 7. They were jealous that I got it. It's like, regardless of the fact that I had to explain to them in detail, you know, I mean, I even said in the video that I really got an Android, but it's for work and it's one of the requirements. So I got it. But, you know, they were still jealous. <laughs> I want you to leave me in the comments on some situations in which uh, other people have done things that um, that you know that comes out that shows that little green monster, that little green head. Let me give you an example of what happened really recently. Okay, I actually had a person, this brother, he he uh, he kind of, kind of confronted me and looked at me. And Everything all right? I'm like, yeah, everything cool. Cause you kind of looked at me, you know, kind of crazy. I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> I said, I said, brother, don't lose no sleep over it. If I did, it don't mean nothing. You know, I was above that. You know, he, oh, <laughs> and he was with his woman, so he was trying to puff out his chest and be all bad, you know, and. All I could do is smile. I was smiling inside because my mom told me something. When, and oh, yeah, he, of course, he, I don't do drugs at all. I mean, I, I may drink a little bit here and, here and there, but I have such a low tolerance, it's not a lot, okay? And, um, but I definitely don't do no 
weed and all that crap. Um, even if it was in a state that is legal, I wouldn't do it. That's just not me. But anyway, yeah, he was high and he had that uh, liquid courage, alcohol in him. I'm trying to be all boastful, you know. But I, all I could do is smile because sometimes, and I'm letting you know, sometimes when a confrontation like that happens, it's easy for it's easier for negativity to take over take over someone that's under substance, whether it's alcohol, drugs, legal or illegal. It's easier for a negativity to take over that person, and negativity will confront you when two main things are happening. One, you're on the right path. Okay, you're doing something to help other people. And negativity don't like that. Okay, it doesn't like other people to be helped. It doesn't like other people to be pulled out of a rut. Okay, number two, if something really positive is coming your way, okay, negativity knows it, and it will try to create frictions, uh, negative actions against that positive energy just in you and it is also coming your way in those positive gifts and blessings okay so when something negative happens I'm not saying let yourself be a victim don't ever do that but what I'm saying is uh, when something negative happen happens it's probably something one you're doing something right Two, you're probably helping someone, and negativity don't like people being helped. Okay, misery loves company, and it tries to fight anybody that helps someone out of misery. And then uh, three, you got some really good blessings coming, and negativity know it, and would love you just make you know static in your life because you got something really good coming. You know, regardless of what your religious just believes, you got you're working on something and it's happening and it's coming your way, even if you don't see it. But negativity sees it, and that's why it tries to put something in your face like that. All right, so remember that. All right, but I just want to share that experience with you. I want your comments. All right, and tell me the things that you went through, and just certain ways of how you help. Over, I mean, how you overcame certain jealousy that was thrown at you, control, controlling people, and most of all, you know, how do you overcame a negative action thrown at you? What what did you do? Okay, uh, I want you to know that you're not alone because it happens to all of us. Okay, but now you have a different. I'm giving you, a, trying to give you a different perspective. Of, why sometimes it happens okay all right and i'll appreciate it if you would subscribe if you would share of course okay. well i love your comments give me a thumbs up or thumbs down either way you're cool with me and i will rap to you later peace out time to do some dancing Peace.